Hi everyone, Dr. Susan Brown at the Center for Better Bones. Today I want to just begin to introduce you to this really interesting phenomena that I've discovered in my clinical practice, and that is a phenomena which I call low turnover osteoporosis. Just real quickly, bone is a very dynamic tissue. Every single minute we're breaking down old pieces of weakened bone. There are certain cells that do that, called osteoclasts. And then we're building up new pieces of bone in that very same spot. And this is done by the cells that are called osteoblasts. Here you have a little illustration. You got these little osteoclasts breaking down old pieces of bone, recycling that material, send it back into circulation. And these osteoblasts laying down new collagen that eventually becomes mineralized. This is a process that goes on all the time. When you have osteoporosis, the general thought is, well, you're breaking down too much bone and building up too little. However, in my practice, when I see a client, I carefully study what's happening with their bone. And in many, many cases, I see that really people are not breaking down too much bone. You can measure bone breakdown by these markers of bone breakdown. One is called NTX, antelopeptides. One is called CTX. C telopeptides. We've written about those. You can find it in our blogs. These are markers of bone breakdown. When I test them, I see some people are not breaking down a lot of bone, but they're still losing bone by the bone density. So how can it be? You're losing bone, but you're not breaking down too much bone. The answer is you're not breaking down much bone, but you're building up less. So it's a dysfunction of the osteoblast. The bone building cells are not functioning fully. They're not building new bone. And so you are still losing bone density, even though you do not have high bone breakdown. And what does this mean? Well, it means if they were to give you a drug for osteoporosis, most of those drugs halt bone breakdown, but you already have low bone breakdown in this case. So would you really want to halt it more? There are 2 million spots on your body every second where you're breaking down old worn out bone and building up new bone. That's a very important process to keep that bone fresh and strong. Replace the weakened parts. With low turnover osteoporosis, you're not breaking down much bone and you're not building up bone. So you have the chance that the bone is not highly repaired and susceptible to fracture. Subsequent blogs, I can tell you why this occurs, but it has a lot to do with nutrition and it has a lot to do with stress and worry. It's a whole new phenomena and I've written a blog actually about how bone responds to danger. Just to give you a, a hint, even before the adrenals can respond to danger, bone sacrifice bone sacrifices one of its major proteins, osteocalcin, to move that into the blood to affect the nervous system so you can be even more effective at the flight or fight response. This is very costly to bone, bone in the long run. So low turnover osteoporosis means you're not breaking down very much, but you're building up less. You're losing bone because you're not building enough new bone, not because you're breaking down too much bone. We'll be talking about that more. Keep it in mind, always good to get your markers of bone breakdown tested if you find that you're losing bone excessively to see whether it's caused by high bone breakdown or really associated with low bone breakdown and even lower new bone formation. Betterbones.com, it's my pleasure. We will be working on this.